See, do you have a major difference with what he just said? No, actually, I think Senator McCain and I uh, agree uh, for the most part on uh, these issues. Obviously, I disagree with this notion that somehow uh, we did not forcefully uh, object to Russians uh, going into Georgia. I immediately said that this was illegal and objectionable. Uh, and absolutely, I wanted a cessation of the violence uh, because it put an enormous strain on Georgia. Uh, and that's why uh, I was the first to say that we have to rebuild the Georgian economy uh, and called for a billion dollars that has now gone in to help them rebuild. Uh, because part of Russia's intentions here was to weaken the economy to the point where uh, President Shakashvili was so weakened that he might be replaced by somebody that Putin favored more. Uh, two points I think are important to, to think about when it comes to Russia. Number one uh, is we have to have foresight and anticipate some of these problems. So back in April, I warned the administration that you had Russian peacekeepers in Georgian territory. That made no sense whatsoever. And what we needed to do was replace them with international peacekeepers and a special envoy to resolve the crisis before it boiled over. Uh, that wasn't done, uh, but had it been done, it's possible we could have avoided the, uh, the issue. The second point I want to make is, is the, the issue of energy. Um, Russia is in part resurgent, and Putin uh, is feeling powerful because of petrodollars, as Senator McCain mentioned. That means that we, as one of the biggest consumers of oil, 25% of the world's oil, have to have an energy strategy, not just to deal with Russia, but to deal with many of the rogue states we've talked about, Iran, Venezuela. And that means, yes, increasing domestic production and offshore drilling, but we only have 3% of the world's oil supplies, and we use 25% of the world's oil. So we can't simply drill our way out of the problem. What we're going to have to do is to approach it through uh, alternative energy like solar and wind and biodiesel and, yes, nuclear energy, clean coal technology. And you know, I've got a plan for us to make a significant investment over the next 10 years to do that. Wait. And I have to say, Senator McCain and I, I think, agree on the importance of energy, but Senator McCain mentioned earlier the importance of looking at a record. Over 26 years, Senator McCain voted 23 times against alternative energy like solar and wind and biodiesel. And, and so we, 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 we've, got to, we've got to walk the walk and not just talk the talk when it comes to energy independence, because this is probably going to be just as vital for our economy and the, the pain that people are feeling at the pump and, you know, winter's coming and home heating oil, as it is our national security and the issue of climate change that's so important. We've got time for one more lead question segment. Uh, we're way out of, can we're I, out of, you could be a quick, quick response. No one from Arizona is against solar. And Senator Obama says he's for nuclear, but he's against reprocessing and he's against storing. So that's, that's, it's hard to true, get John, there from John, there. I'm sorry and that offshore drilling uh, is also something that is very important, and it is a bridge. And we know that if we drill offshore and exploit a lot of these reserves, it will help at least temporarily relieve our energy requirements, and it will have, I think, an important effect. I, I on just the have to respond very, very, very quickly, just to correct. So the, I, just I to correct want to say that with the non Luger sir. thing. John? I supported Nunn Luger back in the early 1990s when a lot of my colleagues didn't. That was the key uh, legislation at the time and put us on the We're road better. to eliminating this issue of nuclear waste and the, the nuclear fuel that has to be taken care of. I, I, I just have to correct the record here. I have never said that I object to uh, nuclear waste. What I've said is that we have to store it safely. All right. and, Let, and, and Senator McCain, he says, he right. talks about Arizona. I've got to make this point, Jim. Okay. He objects. I have voted he, for he, alternate he, fuel he all of my time. He objects. One at a time. No please. one can, can be right. opposed Fair to enough. alternate Let's energy. Let's move on. you got one Come more on. energy. you got last, one more question. Last lead question. You have two minutes each, and the question is this, beginning with you, Senator McCain. What do you think the likelihood is that there would be another 9-11 type attack on the continental United States? I think it's much less than it was the day after 9-11. I think it, that uh, we have a safer nation, but we are a long way from safe. And I want to tell you that one of the things I'm most proud of, among others, because I have worked across the aisle. I have a long record on that, on a long series of reforms. But after 9-11, Senator Joe Lieberman and I decided that we needed a commission 
and that was a commission to investigate 9-11 and find out what happened and fix it. And we were, we were opposed by the administration, another area where I differed with this administration. And we were stymied until the families of 9-11 came. And they descended on Washington, and we got that legislation passed. And there were a series of recommendations, as I recall, more than 40. And I'm happy to say that we've gotten written into law most of those reforms recommended by that commission. I'm proud of that work. Again, bipartisan, reaching across the aisle, working together, Democrat and Republican alike. So we have a long way to go in our intelligence services. We have to do a better job in human intelligence. And we've got to, to make uh, sure that we have people who are trained interrogators so that we don't ever torture a prisoner ever again. We have to make sure that our technological and intelligence capabilities are better. We have to work more closely with our allies. I know our allies, and I can work much more closely with them. But I can tell you that I think America is safer today than it was in 9-11. But that doesn't mean that we don't have a long way to go. And I'd like to remind you also, as a result of those recommendations, we probably had the largest reorganization of government since we established the Defense Department. And I think that those men and women in those agencies are doing a great job. But we still have a long way to go before we can declare America safe. And that means doing a better job along our borders as well. Two minutes, Senator Obama. Uh, well, first of all, uh, I think that we are safer in some ways. Obviously, we've poured billions of dollars into airport security. Uh, we have uh, done some work in terms of securing uh, potential targets, but we still have a long way to go. We've got to make sure that we're hardening our chemical sites. We haven't done enough in terms of transit. We haven't done enough in terms of ports. And the biggest threat that we face uh, right now uh, is not a nuclear missile uh, coming over the skies. It's in a suitcase. Uh, this is why the issue of nuclear proliferation is so important. It is the, the biggest threat to the United States is a terrorist getting a hands on nuclear weapons. And we, we are spending billions of dollars on missile defense. Uh, and I actually believe that we need missile defense because of Iran and North Korea and the potential for them to obtain uh, uh, or to launch nuclear weapons. But I also believe that when we are only spending a few hundred million dollars on nuclear prolif proliferation, then we're making a mistake. Uh, the other thing that we have to focus on, though, is Al Qaeda. Uh, they are now operating in 60 countries. We can't simply be focused on Iraq. We have to go to the root cause, and that is in Afghanistan and Pakistan. That's going to be critical. We are going to need more cooperation with our allies. And one last point I want to make. It is important for us to understand that th the way we are perceived in the world is going to make a difference in terms of our capacity to get cooperation and root out terrorism. And one of the things that I intend to do as president is to restore America's standing in the world. We are less respected now than we were eight years ago or even four years ago. And this is the greatest country on earth. But because of some of the mistakes that have been made, and I give Senator McCain great credit on the torture issue for having identified that as something that undermines our long-term security, because of those things, uh, we, I think, are going to have a lot of work to do in the next administration to restore that sense that America's that shining beacon on a hill.